Hello and welcome to another one of my YouTube tutorial series and in this series we are going to create a puzzle game which I'm going to preview for you right now. So here we have these buttons and before we run our game we don't have anything. When we run the game we are going to create our buttons through code and we are going to position them and after that we are going to try to guess our puzzles. So here we can try to well find two equal images in order well to guess the puzzle correctly and if we guess the puzzle correctly we are going to end the game and we are going to display here in the console the game is finished and it took took us a couple of guesses so here we say it took us eight guesses to finish our game so enough about the game let's get started and create this game now that we saw how our game looks like let us create and prepare our project so here I have a simple project which is a 2d project named it puzzle game and save it in my folder and now we are here in with the unity editor the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to create here a folder which is going to be scenes and i'm going to save my scene in our scenes folder which is our game scene now what we need is a panel in order to lay out the buttons as we previously saw for that i'm going to create a game object and then ui and simply click on panel now we see that our panel is huge for that i'm going to select the canvas and change it from screen space overlay to screen space camera and attach the main camera on the canvas you can also change here scale with well screen size but this is not important but it's my habit when i create a project to do this right away anyway i'm going to name our panel puzzle field and now what we need is we need to lay out our buttons so simply go and create a new button and add it as a child under our puzzle field and i'm also going to remove the button excuse me the text that's a child of our button which automatically comes with the button so now what we can do is we can take this tool here and well position our button wherever we like we can also copy and paste our button, position it here because we saw that we have four puzzle buttons. So simply position them like this. But this way is a little bit, I don't know how to say, old. It, maybe there is a more efficient and better way to do this. And actually there is. What we can do is we can simply delete these two buttons and we can select our puzzle field and click here on add component and filter for the grid so simply filter here type grid and you will see grid layout group click that to add it to our puzzle field and automatically we see that it has positioned our button to be at the top left corner now here we see that we have some options in the inspector panel the first thing that i'm going to change here is the child alignment from upper left to middle center so we want our button to start from the center of course here you have other options you have start corner start axis you have constraint which is flex flexible or fixed column amount you can we all util excuse me you can change the cell sizes for example if i type here 200 for the x and 200 for the y we see that the size of our cell changes and what is more important if i copy and paste the button now they are going to automatically reposition themselves and i can also have here a padding between them on the x and on the y so simply copy and paste the buttons and they are going to reposition themselves but we are not going to reposition like this in one row we saw that we have two rows from well consisting up to four buttons so we can do that by selecting our puzzle field and here for the constraints we can click on fixed column count and we see that we have here two we can say for example let's say four and we are going to have four buttons in our in one column that is so you can simply like this copy and paste it again copy and paste it and now we have four buttons but we are not going to lay them out like this we are only going to use one button which is this one right here and i'm going to name it puzzle button and what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new folder here and i'm going to name this folder prefabs 
And prefab is a reusable game object. So for example, I can drag and drop my button. So drag and drop it here from the hierarchy panel. So here we have our button. Simply drag and drop it here in the folder. And we see that it has this blue cube near it, which indicates that our button is now a prefab. So now we can reuse our button even if we delete it from the well hierarchy panel we can simply put it back here and we have our button with all of its settings that we previously had so in the next video we are going to see how can we lay out our buttons using our script and for that i'm simply going to prepare our project so here create an empty game object and this is going to be our game controller so game controller and here we are going to create a folder which is going to be our scripts folder and simply here create a new script and this is going to be add buttons script and attach our script on our game controller and that's it for now in the next video as i said we are going to see how can we lay out our buttons in our puzzle field through our script and also what you can do is you can experiment here with the grid layout so you can add, I don't know, six or 10 buttons and then set the settings that you want because we are going to add eight buttons. So you can set the settings that you like here. So add eight buttons and set the, those settings. After that, remove those buttons. So when we add those buttons through our code, they will be positioned the same way as you set up here. So you can experiment with this. I don't know, change the cell size on the X axis, on the Y axis, change the spacing, the padding, change the start corner, child alignment, so on and so forth. You can see for yourself, experiment a little bit. That's a great way to learn. And in the next video, we are going to lay out our buttons through our code.